Hey, gang. Welcome to the Are You Garbage Comedy Podcast. Please make sure you subscribe. That way you get the episodes as they come out. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. Little show, we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find if they grow to be classy or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Antutti's basement uh, again. Got to talk to you a little business. Sure, what's up? You know her friend Randy. I, I, who, I mean, who in the neighborhood doesn't know Randy? True. Anyway, had a suggestion, wanted to throw it by you. Okay. If that's okay. Sure, I'm listening. He was thinking that when it's just you and me, uh-huh. we call them family episodes. Okay. But when we have a returning guest, sure. we call it company. Okay, that sounds, that's a great idea. Do you like that? Is that okay? <laughs> that's a great idea I think I had last night, but that's just me. Well, I have to give this to you then. <laughs> What's this? It's an invoice for $2,000 for consulting work for Randy. <laughs> from Randy? Yeah. From Randy Enterprises. Yeah. Make checks payable to H. Foley. That's weird. <laughs> Destroy that. He's in between bankers I'm right gonna be, now. I'm like Enron. I'm going to be fucking shredding anything you give to me. <laughs> Wiping off my fingerprints. Yeah. Gang, my boy is across the table from me, so that's a family app. It's just me and the Kipperino. Give it up for my best pal, the real CEO of Are You Garbage. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's up, guys? How are you? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, as I know, Randy knows, Tony knows, Foley knows, T-Bone knows, those numbers are true. True, the fucking roof. <laughs> I thought we were going to go true, the roof. <laughs> a little fucking acapella on you. T-Bone throwing audibles over there. I like it. I like how it keeps you guessing. Um, also, uh, Patreon.com, you can sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG. You get episodes of Hard Feelings, oh, which yeah. is a fucking breakout hit of 20. You think Everybody this is fucking Hard Feelings is fucking this on steroids. Ooh, I'm start talking about Gwyneth Paltrow for season two. It's heating <laughs> up over there. Uh, and then also, uh, we're going to be posting footage of the live shows on Patreon. T-Bone's cooking them up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll be getting, uh, it'll be the parts of me and Foley closing out the show together. We just posted the Raleigh. The game, the, baby. The big game. We posted the Nashville uh, footage today. Shout out to night. Zanies. So you'll see it. Shout out to Zanies, and we'll be posting them as we do them. So another reason to add up, and everybody gets those on every level. Yes, sir. And that Patreon's fucking cooking, Daddy. Woo! They got to hire another cook. Put the help wanted sign out front. Yeah. Also, a couple of shows we got to talk about. We do got to talk about a couple of Before shows. Before we bring in T-Bone, let's get, the, let's get the rest of the the business out of the way. So the business is this. We've uh, we've crunched the numbers. We looked it over. We had the map out. We had the boys on the coast on the phone. I just picture a big map with like a truck driving by. <laughs> 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 the dotted red line. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's just stars for every Shoney's across America. <laughs> uh, here's a skinny. Chicago sold the fuck out. How many right. shows did we sell out in We Chicago? got two shows June 24th. We're Are doing there, two shows there, Zany, Chicago. Any tickets left town. on them? There's no tickets None? left on them. No tickets on them? Not for a fat kid or a skinny guy. It doesn't the matter early show are. and late show are both sold out? No. So Holy what we did, shit. What did we, we, do? We, we added a third show Tuesday, January, or June 20, 22nd. Wow. The Tuesday before that. Before Thursday, that. We added 7 o'clock show. show. Mm-hmm. That's halfway sold out. Hate to tell you. By the time this, it's probably, it's probably cooked by the time this comes out. So get them ticks. Get the fucking tickets, guys. Because we got to add another one. We got to add another one. We'll do it. I'll, do you think I won't add a fucking show? You don't think we'll show? do it? You, listen, you guys know me. You think I won't add another <laughs> fucking show? You choose, okay? You choose. <laughs> and I heard it's a meal per show, everybody. <laughs> so everybody in And then also Atlantic City Uh-oh. sold out that first show. Uh-oh. Uh, so we at on June eight, June eighteenth, Friday, June eighteenth, sold out the early show. I think it was an eight o'clock show. Sold that the fuck out. Going to ten thirty. So we added a ten thirty show. Yeah. I'm hoping to sell that the fuck out. Wow. Atlantic and also, City in the summertime. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Indy 
We're going to be in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana. Is that right? Indianapolis, Indiana? A lot of I words flying around. Yeah. I, I'm not confident enough in my win- Midwest geography. Yeah, however you spell it, we're tanking over there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move a couple of ticks in Indy, all right, folks? If you live near fucking, I don't whatever's by it. Get in the let's car, get, let's get drive to, to see the boys. Okay? Get to the nitty gritty, huh? <laughs> Chicago's got a motor on it. AC's got a motor. If you have relatives, know anybody in the Indy area. Yeah, I'll just say we're behind on the poles, if you know what I mean, in Indiana. Yeah. Everybody likes an underdog, yeah. folks. Come out and see us. Helium Comedy Club, Indianapolis, Indiana. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for that. How about a nice shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the man, the myth, the legend over here, Thomas Benjamin Wilkerson McMullen. <laughs> that was not right. What yeah, up? it was. Wilkerson? Wilkerson. Wilkinson, son. Oh, my son. God. Sounds like you own a dairy company. Uh, no, no, but I got an <laughs> uncle who stole my inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they connect, but all right. <laughs> Is that true? 100%. Really? Oh, big time. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Spicy over there at the McMullen house. Yeah, yeah. We should have you on sometime and talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you steer your tractor? What, what could you have inherited from your bozo family? Yeah, no shit. Now, my grandfather, he did really well in the textile industry. He had a whole bunch of cash set away, and that got spent on a lifted truck in Myrtle Beach. Well, how much tra- how much up. cash could have been there if it got blown on a lifted yeah, truck? Well, yeah, was it solid gold? <laughs> no, no, no. A couple Wait, hold on. Your grandfather made a little cash in the textile industry? That's correct. And how do you know this money was allocated for you? Because it was allocated for my entire family. My grandmother got dementia. He, my scumbag uncle signed over power of attorney from her and uh-huh. then fucking jacked the whole kit and caboodle. Wow. I respect it. You got it. I mean, that guy's playing chess. You bozos were all fucking fingering your, yourself. Yeah, no kidding. You guys are your progressive schools watching NPR drinking martinis. This guy was fucking playing <laughs> hardball. Guy, yeah, this guy's playing for keeps. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of stealing, uh, if anyone, if any listeners have any music, they make any music, any bands or anything like that, and they're cool with us using their tunes and the, and the edits we're doing on the road, yeah, send me a DM at Toby McMullen on Instagram, Toby Dot McMullen on Instagram, and I'll check your shit out. Also, drop T Bone a follow. Sure. Yeah, T Bone, could you we could juice T Bone's numbers a bit? My numbers as well. While we're fucking at it, at Kevin Rank Comedy, <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple of fucking talented listeners. I think got T Bone turning into a record mogul. Yeah, right. I'll check it fucking out over there at T Bone <laughs> Enterprises. Guys, send it over to the A and R. I'll have my guy. He already played one for us. He's like, you got to hear these guys, man. dude. They rip. I'll fucking shout them out right now. Dude. <laughs> these dudes, fucking Daisy Chain. They fucking awesome. Daisy Chain. There you go. All righty. We love it. Uh, thank you, T-Bone. We love you very much. Gang, family episode, just me and Kippy. Want to throw a curveball at you, ask you a quick question. I'm ready. The shower has been greatly discussed here in, 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 in Tooties. We've talked about the shower, shower etiquette, brushing your teeth, sure. how you shower, what you shower with. Um, uh, I'm From now on, I'm going all hand, my hand scrubbers. I really found out the exfoliating. What do you mean hand scrubbers? I have these gloves that are like exfoliating gloves that like really get in there, man. They really exfoliate. That's what it's all about, I think. Because I have all these. You shouldn't be showering with gloves on. That's not true. That's more like industrial. Listen, I have all these little fat guy things, like not moles, but like just little things on my skin. And when I use that for a week, they all start to go away. So I'm going to keep rocking with that. But that's not my the business I wanted to discuss with you, sir. Damn, I just lost my appetite for a month. What Your I, targeted ads on Instagram must be fucking nuts. Yeah, it's all like industrial <laughs> cleaners and stuff. Ooze. <laughs> yeah, sign up for these two barrels of ooze. Hang They're on. shipped directly and discreetly to your house every month. I'm not going to lie. I see a lot of Billy Mays. On my <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fucking sign up for ooze monthly. <laughs> This will take the shine off your coat. Listen, my whenever so if you turn my shower on, I get the shower warmed up. I've showered in your shower. Have you? I have. No, not in the new apartment. Oh no, I have. Yeah. yeah. Um. So when you shower, sure. Unless For you the have, listener, I have. <laughs> 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 hey, I'm, like, you... I'm like Kramer when you go to work, dude. <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor. Take the trash out every once in a while for me, will you? Help the old man out. Busting my balls all the time. <laughs> Step up to the plate. Listen, when I... So when I, if I turn my shower on to, you know, get it warmed up while I do my business, you know, I don't know if you do that. I, I turn the shower on to get it hot. I do my business, and then when I'm done, I get in the shower. You follow what I'm saying? Sure, we've talked about this. I don't like to go in depth in what your business is. I assume it's not your taxes. So I believe we're, we're just speaking of on. the dump and jump. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want to get all military about it, sure. <laughs> I've never heard that. That's fantastic. 
It's just a drill sergeant next to the toilet. Go, 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 go. <laughs> when you see that green light, that means go. <laughs> two wipes, Foley, two wipes. <laughs> Holy shit, that's good. Well, that, I mean, that's not, I don't have a name for that. That's just, that's a Foley. That's in the first page of the playbook on the Foley's. Everybody did that. You, you telling did- your mom was doing dumping jumps? <laughs> <laughs> No way, dude. No I'm way sure. Pete Mayo was like 37 doing dumping jobs. When you're getting ready to go out, that's what you do. You do your business and you get in the shower and you come out, you're all cleaned up and fresh. I don't, I'm on a different schedule. I really? Feel. Yeah. Oh, man. Anywho, um, so I have this uh, like dead man switch on my toilet for some reason. What that- is a dead man switch? <laughs> 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 Things go sideways. It's gonna kill the engine. <laughs> it's an eject button. <laughs> Hit it! You just go up. You go up into the fourth floor. <laughs> you kill some poor schmuck who was brushing his teeth. Sorry, man. It got heavy down there. Goose. <laughs> Great balls of fire. <sighs> we got a hot one here, folks. Ah, I got the giggles. I apologize. <laughs> when you flush- I love when I get your number. It's so easy just to fucking keep you giggling. It's like it's like tickling a baby. <laughs> oh, coochie, coochie, coo. Oh, coochie, coo. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so easy. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I have this thing. If I flush my toilet, all of a sudden my shower stops. I don't know why. It just, it- it's because you're living in a hellhole. <laughs> I mean, come on. Be, the, the water what are you of, doing? You make a little bit of cash. Move into the island. Move into Manhattan. Listen, the 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 faucet will still run, but the shower will turn oh, off. Oh, really? Wow, it sounds like the fucking Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great shower, though. It's humble water pressure. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm scared to move. That's how good the water pressure is. That's what happened. We had decent water pressure in my first apartment. New apartment. It's like the I, Commando 3000. I dude. can't. Oh, this, it's the, better? Oh, it yeah. hooks, Daddy-o. I couldn't do it. Got the big round, like, not waterfall, but it's like probably eight inches wide, like the big circle joint. I need, I need heavy. Heavy bike. I need it. Yeah, I commando. need it strong. Otherwise, it's nothing. Um, however, so it does that, okay? And it does it sometimes by itself. Anyway, long story short. My question is, is this garbage? Because it happened today. We're not off to a good start, so probably. It happened today, and I think I'm going to keep doing it on my own. Uh-oh. I was in there. I had my gloves on. I got my fucking Beekman's 1802 fucking goat's milk soap. I'm fucking going to work on myself. Goat's milk. And how to decla- <laughs> How to unclassify a fucking classy product. Goat's milk. 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 Goat, goat's milk. Goat, goat milk. Yeah, I'm saying goats. anything with goat's milk is... Classy. Classy. Yeah. How you say milk extremely it makes it too. trashy. Yeah. <laughs> goat's milk. <laughs> y'all got any goat's milk? Milk. Anyway. Hey, yo, y'all got any almond milk? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no like, get out of here, bozo. <laughs> I'm an oat milk man. Listen, um, I was in there and I was lathering up, about halfway lathered up, you know? And it killed. It, 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 it quit. The shower. The shower stopped. They kept the the drain keeps running. You know the the yeah, water. You can't turn a drain off. What do you mean the drain keeps running? No, like the faucet keeps running. That would fill up the tub. Whatever the fuck that's called. That's on too. So you no. got that cooking? No, no, no. That's off when you pull the button down. Wait, hold the- on. All right, hold on. You're in the shower. Shower's Correct. coming out of the top. Yes. You got your gloves, your knee pads, your elbow pads on. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, I'll be up in the bathroom playing roller hockey. <laughs> Wine change, dump and chase, dump and chase, kid. You got to work hard for the one-timers. Cool. Oh, man. Yes. We don't. You, every shower's the same. When the faucet's running, the shower's not running. Okay, so what, when you switch right, over, on, the faucet stops understand. and the shower uh-huh. runs. So sometimes mine will just cut off, and then the shower will stop, and the water will start. So coming. when the t- when the toilets the toilets flushed, <laughs> when your toilets flushed, the shower stops and the spout comes on, like the bathtub. Yes, spout comes yes, on. yes, yes. That's what happens. That's a, you got to get a super in there or something. <laughs> Call a plumber. That ain't right. And when you turn the lights on, the dishwasher stops. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog barks. <laughs> 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 Don't turn the blender on. Please. I don't want to see what happens. Goddamn place is booby trapped. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the McAllister. <laughs> 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 
watch. I'm over here trying to fucking catch a hot shower and fucking taking paint cans to the head. <laughs> Low bridge. Holy shit. So <clears throat> it kicks off halfway through. And the tub comes on. And the tub comes on. So my piggies are still getting warm. And there's still water show going. But then I realized when I start soaping up, why don't I turn the water off and then I get myself... Real really, lather. really soapy. I do and that. And then turn the shower back on. That was what I was trying to say. Well, I think your is issue that is... Cra- is that trash or is that class? It's not trash. It's not class. Yours is a different issue. I do the same. I think most people are in the shower. They got a little more space than you do to maneuver, right? Square footage-wise, sure. That's what I'm saying. So, like, I wet myself, right? No gloves, sans gloves, and I do my thing. And then I step out. First of all, I put my hymn. Shout out to him. You step out. Not out of the shower, out of the water, so I can lather up. Like, the water's, like, maybe uh-huh. hitting my legs or something. And uh-huh. I'm over here doing my biz. Okay. Getting the lather, the gooch, whatever you need. <laughs> you really got to hit two or three places. That's all you got. You got to hit the armpits. See, I... The, th- the, the, well, you, you gotta, you're obviously, you're an exception to the rule. Yeah, man. I have yeah, to yeah. maintain. Because I got to think about what's the situation going to be like three hours from now when I'm sitting next to somebody. And that fat guy and funk typi- that, as it's me that, typically. It ain't good. That fat guy funk starts taking <laughs> starts taking the baseline for a walk. Yeah. You know, like. Fat guy funk. Who's that? Bruno Mars. <laughs> you need to get showered like Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking D Louse. I would actually love that. Does that happen uh, to me every really? day? <laughs> what, as like long a, as a, at, like fucking Gen Pop intake. As, as long as as long as the water was warm, yeah, to have like four people scrubbing me with scrubbers. Oh, probably, he's probably so clean. You're going the that. wrong way. You're going the <laughs> wrong way. Saying. I understand, but you're going the wrong way. We have to have a serious <laughs> sit down. And conversation. Get a couple of handlers over at my house. Um, yeah, and you step out of the water, so you're not, and then you get in and rinse off. Exactly. I think you're just a little. You're a little tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I feel like you okay. get cleaner because a lot of times the soap is getting washed off the scrunchie or the gloves or That's whatever what you're, you're using. Step out. That, yeah. Yeah. I think you're just. I've been trying to. Man, been, you can't even shower normally. I've been, tr- I've been trying to push for one of those curtains that go out a little bit. You ever see them in the hotel? They bow out a little the bit. The ring, yeah. Yeah, it gives you a little more room. Or I really. No, stop I, it. I, I we really, have to stop I really changing want a glass the dimensions one. of your apartment. I want a glass we one. need to change the dimensions of you. Or just turn the whole bathroom into one big shower. The laziness. We have to figure this out. Time. There yeah. must be a solution to this. Yeah, stop the McDonald's. <laughs> By the way, I caught you with a couple of bags, Mickey D's bags rolling around in the back of your car the other day. They're old. That's nothing. Come on. Oh, it's nothing. Patty's lying, just so you know. No, I'm not, she's Patty. All over me. Take the car away from him. That's how he got fat. That's what she told me. I, I, she's like, this is like a year and a half ago. That's like, what she told yeah, me. Yeah, she goes, he's getting big. I, we got to do something. I go, I know, Patty. I break his balls every day. I'm making a career. I'm calling this fat piece of shit fat. <laughs> and she goes, hey, it's I'm ever doing, since I hey, came. I'm doing my part. I'm making fun of him. <laughs> Hey, one man can only do so much. It takes a village, you dumb broad. Let's go. <laughs> well, do you encourage him at all? I encourage him that he's disgusting. Yeah, I cool. tell him he's gross. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Um, But she goes, it's when I gave him the car. He don't walk nowhere no more. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. He don't, yeah. You, sometimes you don't even walk to the car. I've seen you take an Uber to go. I've seen you, I've seen you take an Uber to go. Let me Jeep. tell you all something. You'll take that car away from me over my <laughs> cold, dead, fat body. <laughs> I love that goddamn thing. I feel like fucking Michael J. Fox zipping around the city. I put all my stuff in the fucking passenger seat. I love that move. Got all your stuff right in the passenger seat. You don't seat. have stuff. I all got right. stuff, my anyway. shades, water bottle, some Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Bernies. Hey, gang, quick announcement from our sponsor, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door, baby. Yes, you do. You skip the trips to the grocery store like a bozo, and you can count on HelloFresh to make home cooking fun, easy, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Not number two, not number three, numero uno. Boing. Uh, HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning, grocery store trips, so you can enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. It's easy peasy. I hate going to the store, fighting with the old bag about it. But this, it's all cut out. You can try meals ready in 20 minutes or less. 
lightning prep recipes and quick breakfast lunches and perfect for your busy schedule big man let me tell you this as you know we each got one they sent us one Mm -hmm. fantastic big box of stuff big box of stuff i show up yesterday at my apartment hello fresh box is right there go inside Show my girl. She's gushing over it. Uh Uh-huh. All right. My lady liked it, too. It's a big package. We got a pork dish. We have a chicken dish, and we have a shrimp dish. Last night, Cajun shrimp over kale salad with smoked pineapple, um, pickled onions, Uh and crunchy sweet potatoes. You're going to be ready for beach season, big guy. Everything's there. Everything's chopped up. She had this in there. Boom, boom, boom. Put it together in two seconds. I'm telling you. Unbelievable. Yeah, guys, it's a home run, so go to Hello. 100% Hel- honest. Fantastic. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage12 and use promo code Garbage12 for 12 free meals. You got to try it, man. 12 free meals. What are we doing? Yeah, it's all right. I ain't talking 5, 10. I'm talking 12 free meals. And they stuff you. They ain't skimpy either. Including free shipping. So one more time, guys, go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage12. Use promo code Garbage12. Mm. Get your 12 free meals and free shipping. Hey, guys, another quick word from our sponsor, the good folks over there at Helix. Send another bed. (laughs) Hey, guys, the guys at uh, Helix sent us, sent me a mattress. Send another one. The boss got the mattress. Me and the lady loving it. That's what I keep hearing. We had a bozo one from Ikea like idiots. It was not comfortable. This is the first nice mattress I have. Woo! Come on, guys. Uncle Hank. It's a game. Send one for the big man. Send an extra big one for the big man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know what I was missing out on sleeping on a terrible mattress. You know what I mean? Once they send it, it's a proper game. You feel like you're floating. My brother has one. They rave about it. I know. It's very nice. So get rid of the, your dirty, stained one, whatever you got going on, and get involved with Helix. Uh, here's a couple of things that Helix wants you to know. Check this out. Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes two minutes to complete and matches your body type to the sleep preference that's perfect for you. Yep. That's their secret. Like, why would you buy a mattress that's meant for somebody else? You wouldn't. With Helix, you're getting the mattress that's designed perfectly for you based on this quiz. Everybody's unique. Helix knows that. All right. So they have several different mattresses, different mattress models that you can choose from. They got soft. They got medium. They have firm mattresses. They have mattresses that are great for cooling you down at night when you're hot, when you sleep. And they even have a mattress for plus size sleepers like the big dog. For the big man. Guys, so, I, I, I took the quiz. Me and my wife took it. And asked you. It's real easy. Ask you a couple of questions. What you like, what you prefer, how you sleep. We got the Twilight model. Got it shipped. Comes in a box. Boom. You pop it open. It's like two hours or something. It needs to set. And then boom, right off the fucking. Great sponsor. Good right stuff. Right off to dr- Sleepy Town or whatever. So go to helix.com slash garbage. Take their two-minute sleep quiz. And they'll match you with a customized mattress and give you the best sleep of your life. I'm telling you, it is a game changer they have a 10-year warranty and you don't need to they have a 10-year warranty and you get to try it out for a hundred nights risk-free ain't nothing to lose and they'll even pick it up for free if you don't like it but you will guys so one more time they're offering 200 dollars off a mattress order look out for our listeners plus a free pillow if you go to helix.com slash garbage 200 bucks you you can't afford to not buy this no kidding if you're in the mattress for a market check out helixsleep.com slash garbage get up 200 dollars off and two free pillows gang spring is here oh yeah and summer is right around the corner it's time to get back outside and start exploring the outdoors and you're going to want to do that with a box of awesome from bespoke post to upgrade your life yep whether you're out there taming the wilderness or you're taking your home bar to a pro level heights Bespoke Post only sends guys the best stuff every single month. No matter what you're into, Box Awesome has everything and has you covered. From style and grooming goods to barware to cooking tools to outdoor gear, Box of Awesome has collections for every single part of your life. Yeah, guys, if you're not familiar, it's cool guy shit. It's stuff Big you time. it's stuff you want that you need that you don't know you want or you need and you don't know where to get it. Bespoke Post is right for you. They we got a knife. We got a hammock. We got a tent. Good night. Yeah, we got uh, something else. I, it's, you it's, got a duffel. A duffel Tight bag. Duffel. Woo. 
Ooh, that duffel is that duffel is something else too. Um, so to get started, he's uh, bench pressing four fifty now. <laughs> so to get started, go to boxofawesome.com. Your answer will take the quick quiz. The answers will help you pick the right box of awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a bunch of different categories. It's free to sign up. You can skip a month. You can put it on pause. Whatever you want to do. Cancel anytime. Each box only costs forty-five dollars, but has over seventy dollars worth of gear inside. And also, one of our Savings. listeners reached out. One of the things they have on the website is a uh, toothbrush holder and toothpaste holder for the shower. Oh, there we go. So That's if kismet. If you're a real piece of trash, get involved yes. with Bespoke Post. You get twenty percent off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter our promo code garbage at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Promo code GARBAGE for 20% off your first box. Now back to the show. All right. That's a that's a pretty good segue. Um, guys, <laughs> this is a fam episode. So as you know, when you sign up for the Patreon, uh, we will read your garbage questions. There's a fucking influx. Holy doesn't like me saying that, but we have a backlog. I just want to let everybody know we're getting to everybody. Um, sometimes we got to pick and choose what's right for the guests. So not we, you know, if you join that week, we might not be able to get to it right away, but we're getting to everybody and we're cleaning house. There's a, we've gotten through a lot. There's only a handful Still hanging around. Um, but that being said, this is from Kevin Jacobs. Have either of you left a Bernie in an ashtray outside of a gas station while you went in to retrieve it upon exit? Because people have... I've heard this question a little bit different. It's usually not on an ashtray. It's on the sill. Like on the windowsill of the whatever. Yeah. Um, yes. I've definitely done it. How do I feel about it? You've done it. You've left it. Why not just enjoy the Bernie? That's what I don't get. I don't know. Because any my whole relationship with smoke, no, there's no logic to it. You know what I mean? So yeah. there's, there's no like, oh, I'll sit and enjoy. It. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. I, I gotta get in there. And You're get like this. a squirrel on meth. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of your bits. Always from looking around. A decade ago. <laughs> yeah, man. You are. Yeah, you can be a tough hang sometimes. But a lot of people are like that. They're, they they want to do their mission. You know what I mean? I see people do it with cigars. The thing that grosses me, it, it doesn't gross me out in the moment, but when I'm walking into 7-Eleven, if I'm not smoking, and I see an old one, not one that somebody's currently burning. Sure, that's been there. Yeah. Like that, a cigar, you that, mean. That, that they never went back for. Yeah. You know what I mean? For whatever reason. Got hemmed up. Got hemmed Maybe up. Maybe they started working there, and they never <laughs> yeah. left. Went out the back. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but when you see one of the, any cigarette that's that looks like it's been rained on instantly turns me off. Well, when we were kids, I, you know, we grew up. I grew up in the suburbs of Philly, and I was a skateboarder, so there was a lot of shopping center hangs, right? That's what we did. We yeah, went to the shopping center. Who and, were you skateboarding with? Are the, I mean, the, you want the name? The I guys mean, that not I... Tony Hawk. The guys... <laughs> I mean, what, what, what answer do you think I'm going to give you here that you're going to be satisfied with? You and Bam Margera? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kippy James Ryan. And none of, none of your squad I that I know, the boys, they weren't skate punks. Pat did, flipped really? it, We all skated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, His okay. name is Flip. Yeah. Flip, I could see. I didn't think Flip. Pat, Flip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my friends from high school, we all skated all through the, big the, guy high wasn't, the big guy wasn't out there, right? Who's the big Phil? guy? No, he, he's a college friend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's a little more refined. Yeah, guy refined wears a fucking gentleman. suit and tie to work. He ain't yeah. fucking he ain't doing all of the story, this kid floats in a couple different worlds. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Classy yeah, one sure. minute. But I mean, skateboard. I mean, skateboarding as a kid isn't trash. I mean, we were trash. Yeah, I, whatever. So we'd go hang out at uh, at the <laughs> Krauser, like at the shopping center. Hey, what's it called? Krauser's, <laughs> no, I think. it was. <laughs> yeah, Krauser. Have you ever said that to me before? <laughs> I don't know. Probably whoa, not. Whoa. Shout out to Krauser's. Whoa, whoa. The Kraz. Whoa, you just dropped property value. In- <laughs> <laughs> Krauser's? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it was a tough one. It was a real. Sounds like a British insult. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of Krauser's they are. <laughs> Couple of Krausers, isn't it? Whole lot of them all Krausers, I tell you. <laughs> what the fuck? Bad day at the football pitch. I got hemmed <laughs> up by the Krausers. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a gang. Oh, no, it's the Krausers. <laughs> the Peaky Blinders are fighting on Tuesday. Yeah. I hear that's season six. <laughs> Tommy versus the Krauslers. <laughs> no one touch these muffins in the name of the Krausers. <laughs> I ordered a fucking Krausers. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you had a Krausers. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. I, the crowd, Krauslers, Krauslers. I think we said Krauslers. Just change it to Acme. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was a tough sakes. look. It was a tough. Trying to keep the lease in here. Tough, tough look. Um, 
but we would hang. Where were we going with this? Oh, <laughs> so we, I, you know, as as if when you have parents who smoke, smoking's way easy, like you know what I mean. It's not this like weird thing. So we all like wanted to smoke as kids. You're sure. like that's what adults do. Adults smoke and drink. Adults smoke and drink. And I really lived up to that one. <laughs> I really fucking hitting home runs yeah. on that. I saw one of my little cousins pouring champagne the other day. I was like, ooh, that's not going to be good. Yeah, yeah. I I got, I got have, like, a couple of cousins, like, the younger, that were like, it's so funny when you see it now, we'll go to a family party. And our, we're boozers. Like, we are boozers through and through. Like, the kids start young. I know. You've met them, right? There's always, someone's got, someone's in a headlock. <laughs> someone's getting noogied. And then to see, to be at the family party, like, Easter, and, like, there was, like, you know, young teenage girls were like, oh, we're going around to the corner to go get a whatever. And then they all got, like, caught with, like, white claws or whatever. Really? Yeah. You're like, oh, dude, imagine. Wait, you had a bust on fucking on Easter? I mean, we weren't sending the SWAT team, man. That's you pretty. Just, you that's, just that should have been a story, though. You look that's the other great. way. I mean, it's. We had a very uh, understood thing with. It was kind of like if you had your license, you could drink, which is kind of counterintuitive a bit. But you could booze early. And it's just and like... understanding like the Roosevelt marriage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had an open relationship with booze. Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're old enough to die for your country, you're, you're old enough to drink. She's, oh, dude, she's, yeah. She's 15. I can sign her over. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, we were big like you can have a fucking... Yeah, you can have a cocktail. Not like it wasn't celebrated at the, the family party, but... It's just one if more they, thing swept got, under the rug. Yes, if they get, if they were <laughs> smart enough honest. to go to one of the houses that was empty around the corner and you know dip into the white claws or whatever. I mean, no one's fucking tracking them down. Hmm. It is what it is. Um, but what I forget how that started. But we would hang out at Krausers. Back to the Krausers. <laughs> back to the Krausers. Uh, and we wanted to, so we'd be skating, and you would see guys walk in and like flick a cig, like a half of a Bernie or whatever. You'd scoop it. I wouldn't. But like my boys would, like run up, fucking grab it, take a couple of drag, and everything. Like, ooh, dude, what the fuck? Come on, man, I'll steal them from my dad if we want them that bad. Yeah, yeah, that's a, it's a tough, tough look. It's a tough look. Yeah, um, especially how people smoke differently. Like a couple of my boys, they take it like, like it's a hit in Bastone. They're just. They take like a hard pull, yeah. and then they give it back to you. It's all that, they're soft. ones you call darts. Yeah, it's You're all like, soft yeah, and the, bent. the filters coming off a little bit. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? It's hot. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I like, like a that. nice cool Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> I like my Bernie's room temp. <laughs> Put him in the freezer for a minute. Uh, this next one, great question. This next one hasn't come up yet, which is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy to me. That hasn't come up. Um, this is from Bob, and this is from Bob. Shout out to Big B. Big B. Um, and I think it's application. Is it trash if you grew up with a bar in your basement? Well, this is very, this is very at how it's done and why it's done. I feel because mm. growing up, we didn't have one. We'd go over to my my dad's, like our family friend's house, and they had they had like a real nice wooden one with like the sink behind it. And we, to us, that, I might as well have been at a TGI Fridays, baby. <laughs> I was hanging the fuck out. Asking for the specials. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of my times for me and the boys. If your family had a fully stocked bar, it'd just be vermouth by the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, yeah, we never had it. And I always wanted one. I feel if it was a finished basement with the bar, with a nice, if it was done nice for like parties, I feel it was classy. But I'm also. At, I come from dirtbag alcoholic, so I can't call it. I would have to say overall, no matter how nice they are to how shitty they are, overall, you would have to say, if we're being honest with ourselves, it's trashy. That being said. I don't agree. That being said, fantastic. Well, it's for entertainment purposes, which is classy. If you're having people over and you want to be able to hear, you can have a bottle of wine, you can have this, you can have that. What the hell else would you be doing with them? Just hanging out on a Tuesday. <laughs> Just keep <eating out> there. <laughs> hey, barkeep, two more, huh? A little slow tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thought there'd be more foot traffic. <laughs> yeah, it's your basement, dude. Um, I say that as a kid who had one. I was born you into one. You had a bar? One. Tell you something. You used the washing machine. What are you talking about? <laughs> that in the early 80s, we didn't. 
All right, Mountaintop, Pennsylvania, my parents' first house, the house that I was born in. Every time you say Mountaintop, Pennsylvania, I always think top of the muffin to you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to it. Talk about clean living up there. A couple of fucking summers. Fantastic. They had a, a finished basement that had a bar that was, I would say, as long as the studio. They had this bar put in. When you came down the steps. In your basement? Dude, when you came down the steps, you walked by it to get into the living room, but it was huge. Okay. And huge bar. That's where we had the kegerator. We had an old refrigerator that had a fucking keg in it. They hooked the lines up. They had draft beer, fucking sinks, refrigerators. Yeah, but I bet it was all Milwaukee's best and Old Crow. All right. Yeah. It wasn't is Framois. I apologize. Which, it was the early 80s. Which is trashy, I feel. What, if we were serving fucking cocktails and snifters, it'd be any better? You give the people what they <laughs> want. Yeah, I wasn't the, entertaining the fucking the, the, the royal family. Yeah, you play the hits. Yeah, you know what, what are I you mean? talking give about? Give them the high heat. Here, a, couple, had, a couple of PBRs and fucking well whiskey. All dark plywood. The, the, that's the ply, If your bar's made out of plywood, that's trash. Dark wood, whatever you want to call it. All right, I don't know what it Particle was Particle exactly. board. It was, it was an old entertainment center. Just foam cooler. <laughs> <laughs> no, but all around the bar, my dad had like uh, like padding, like but like nice Ooh. nice leather padding. Like, so the fake you, leather padding. I know. Put, yeah, when you yeah, put yeah, your yeah, elbows yeah, on yeah, it, it was yeah. soft, clean living. But dude, the parties were Christmas, whatever. It was like you were in a bar. You didn't need to go anywhere. It, they, a lot of those bars, and I grew up with family, like friends having them. They were very. Uh, uh, like uh, VFW feel. 100%. Yes. That's exactly what yeah. it felt like. Feels like you're in a clubhouse, not a house or a bar. And like it's my, not a bar, it's not a house, it's a clubhouse. My dad or somebody would be back there bartending. Oh, so there became yeah. like a scene at the bar. Oh, like yeah. people were at the bar. Of course. And the living room was right there. There yeah. was a screen door that went outside, deck upstairs. Mm -hmm. Nice. This Shit. is a big. This is a big question. W were there any neon signs or any or any like Budweiser like signs? Because that's gore. Right? There might have been one or two, but this was the early '80s when those were. That like, was hot. That was like an iPhone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, fucking classy. Yeah, we we never had. I always. I mean, but then I look at like you know. Shout out to our. Uh, our boy C Myers. Yes, his. Come on, that's like a pub. That's yeah. like you're going to like fucking. That's like know. a fishbone grill. Yeah, there. Like <laughs> yeah everything's yeah, marble yeah, 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 and yeah. nice. But that's what I'm saying. So like, but yeah, but I'm saying either way, there's still an element of a little bit of garbage to that, or maybe not garbage. You know, that's a very old school thing to do. I don't think it's trash. I think if it's done. I think if it's done properly, it's not trashy. That's just okay. me. But I, I, I think it's very by. Uh, I'll it's tell you what, I, if this, I want one. Oh, yeah. When I get a basement, one. I'm getting a bar. We should put one in here. <laughs> I have a bartender the whole time? My uncle had one that was like a little mini one, like one that you would almost like see it like a, like a wedding. It was so like on wheels. Kind of move. Oh, oh, dude, wait. My aunt has one that we still, it goes to like house to house whenever we have parties. Yeah. It's big and heavy and plastic and that you can put, but it looks like wood, but it's all plastic and like it has a sink that you fill with ice and then that drink. It's like very, and we'd like, oh, who's Patty's doing Easter? It's going to Patty's. It's going here. That's Carol's pretty nice. This. It's going to Carol's. Yeah. yeah my yeah. Uncle Red had one like that. Same with the, with the, with like the foam around it. It was real nice. And it would usually be bare, and then when the holidays kicked in, it, like, popped out and came to life. Yeah. There'd be, like, things on there, some stencil. Nice. It was, like, right in the dining room. Fucking class. Mm -hmm. okay. Fantastic. The counterpoint to it be, I agree that it's garbage. Because if you're class, you're not going to have a bar. You're going to have a wine cellar. Hmm. I grew up with friends with wine cellars. Who's this guy? That's <laughs> T-Bone <Debo> McMuffin, <laughs> a.k.a. the Magic Man. Uh, yeah, but not everybody likes wine. Like, if you have money and you're relatively classy. A lot of people like fucking cheap beer and scratchers. What do you yeah. think about that? Posting up at the bar. It's also, but like, uh, I, I don't know how to call this. Also, in my def in your defense, I guess. I want a wine cellar, too. Don't get me wrong. It's filled with, not an animal. Filled with fucking Zinfandel and shit. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a walk-in humidor full of Slim Jims. <laughs> <laughs> Something from 88, please. Keep, keep my hoagies down there. <laughs> Keep my hoagie subterranean. <laughs> this is a gym, summer 2009. In my Alex was working the grill. 
in you, I guess your defense of our boy C Myers, uh, his when I was there in the, his basement bar, which is like fantastic. We were just doing shots of fireball. So there it's you go, trashy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very trashy. Sure, it's fantastic. I guess if you did have money and you were classy, you would have a wine cellar. Uh, I bet we he, were. He has money. He's got to have and something like that. He's got to have a wine cabinet or something. I'm sh- yeah, it's probably behind the bar. He's there got you the, go. he's got like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean his looks like a fucking TGI Friday. Yeah. It's a fucking scene back there. The uh, basement bar and a wine cellar. There you go. Yeah. Got to have a hot tub somewhere close by. Yeah, I'm getting and out. You of have the, to have, I'm getting out of the city soon. I've decided. You have you have to have access outside. There's got to be a, uh, uh, a sliding glass door somewhere around here too. Fully yeah. getting out up to for the some key parties. Yeah, I'm. De- oh, dude, hot tub. I'm. I'm. You, you think I'm not getting a fucking hot tub? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Hot tub time machine. Um, this one. This is from Ren. I'm not really sure. This. This can go either way, and I don't know if he means all at the same time or just in general. <laughs> Um, did your family ever own multiple dogs of only one breed? <laughs> because wait a minute, you mean like two golden retrievers? Yeah, <laughs> which is kind of I. So oh, we we didn't do them. That's the, classy. I don't know. I don't know. It depends. No, at that's the same classy. time, we just kept replacing patches. Patches was an English Springer Spaniel, and we just kept replacing them. How many? How, what, what, there was like three or four patches. That doesn't add up numbers wise. There was something well, going on in that before house before I was born. Like you're still, I, you're talking about forty years of dog right there. Ah. Three dogs. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What they guys... age seven times quicker. Yeah. In the Ryan household. Well, one or two, I think we had to. Uh, you know, went to the farm maybe. Why? The one was real. Boosting the one was cars. the one was before my time. I was a baby, but he was really bad, really bad. My mom hated him, <laughs> hated him. Then why'd you get the same kind of dog and name it the same? Well, then because then my kind dad sicko is that? My dad got the patches I had, and my mom had Rusty. Oh, so well, they, they weren't split. the same name. No, not the same name. Oh, same okay. breed though. Okay. There was a couple of patch. No, there I no. Gotcha. There was a couple of patches. That's weird. There was at least two, maybe three patches. No, I think that's classy as fuck, man. It's always rich people you see with like two golden retrievers, two great Danes, two Dalmatians, some shit like that. What are you talking about? It's people they that don't have, have golden retrievers. They have great it, Danes. It's, it's people that have Dalmatians. like three and four all different dogs. They're the one. That, that's garbage. Dude, my ho. So my neighbor. So I, we've Looks been, like a fucking street gang. We've been kicking the tires on a couple of puppies, right? <laughs> and uh, we're on the fence because we got a lot of travel coming up this summer. So I'm like. Can't give it back. I'm not going to give it back. It's hey, so fucking ASPCA, shut the fuck up yelling at me about what I can and can't do with a puppy. Well, all these people are giving them back. Now yeah, that you said this before. I'm not going to give the puppy. So. Shut up, will you? Um, Get a nice dog. This is like the third time you've yelled at me not to return a puppy I don't own yet. So it's my new charity. The woman who lives next to me, she walks dog. She watches dog ah. in the apartment. So she's like, uh, I was like, oh, I got in the, I got in the elevator with a bunch of high rollers in that building. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got in the apartment with, I got in the, I got in the elevator with. You got a tires day. guy in there too, and she's got like, uh, she's got like six fucking dogs, and they're all like. And she's like, oh. And then the next day, she only had one. She had her dog, which is like a little wiener dog. Lost a couple, huh? I go, oh. She goes, yeah, we got. She's like, you know, he's happy. He's all back alone. Like, she's like, my dog's happy. He's by himself now. We're not like boarding these other two or three dogs or whatever. She does it right there in her place? Yeah. So then get this. Dude, talk. has got six dogs in her apartment. Dude, listen to this. (laughs) So then she's like, yeah, he was getting jealous that the big dog kept stealing his place in bed. And I'm like, in bed with me. And I'm like, what? You're sleeping with these rando dogs? I'm like, this is bananas. And then I go, ah, like at the foot of the bed. She goes, no, right on my head. I'm like, you're a lady. You're sleeping with other people's dogs on your forehead is fucking insane. Insane, dude. That's bananas. I don't even like petting other people's dogs, let alone having his fucking gooch in my face. <laughs> it's no good, man. No, man. I wouldn't want my dog staying there. <laughs> the fucking house of sin. <laughs> <laughs> fucking puppy orgy going fucking on. Fucking Caligula over there. I don't think so. Lady. Dude, I was walking a pit bull one time and this guy came up and was like, Blue Nose Pit? I got one too. And pulled his iPhone out and showed me some photos. Like, they make some good babies. I was like, are you trying to pimp your dog to me right now, dude? <laughs> so weird. So weird. 
He was he was literally like, we can make a little cash. I was like, this is not my dog. The yeah. dog has the lipstick out. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> not too shabby, huh? Um. All right, this one's from Breadstick. Ever have an office chair in the living room or family room, a.k.a. wherever the TV is? <laughs> <laughs> that is the definition of a tough look. It was never started out there. No, but it was definitely missing a wheel. Oh, oh yeah. That yeah, one was, it was dragging around. It was missing yeah. a wheel. That one needed a donut. I would, I would, I would, <laughs> so does Foley. <laughs> I would rather have the chair... Uh, missing the wheel than the wheel that always comes out because every time you move it, it slides out. Uh, it's fucking yeah. like a jerk off. Yeah, like a jerk off. We never, we never had the, we never had, had the a random chair. Sometimes that was the best chair in the house because it was comfortable to sit in. Well, be one when thing you're watching if, your if shoes. Your, if your computer, a lot of times the computer was in people's family rooms, especially in the 90s. Oh man, remember if the, that? If there wasn't a lot of room, it would be like in the back of the family rooms like behind the couch or something. <laughs> Those little fucking computer stands or like a little desk. Yeah. Ugh, you look like you were starting Microsoft. <laughs> Any time someone took a hey, picture. Hey Bezos, of me. <laughs> fucking here's rocks, kick them. <laughs> Dude, you got so many pictures of dad sitting in front of like an Epson in the fucking yeah. mid nineties yeah, chair yeah, yeah. propped up with paperback books. Yeah, not knowing what the fuck they're doing. If you got an office chair sitting on blocks, you're in a bad way. That's bad too. And then also the people the fe- like the home if you I had a buddy who his was in his family room, right? The computer was in the family room. Desktop, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, this is like, dude, you're getting a Dell. This is like, you know, mid '90s. You should have saw the computer I went to college with. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Oh, it took man. like four guys to carry it in. It was an it was an Epson fucking something. And Salt. It, <laughs> an Epson Epic, I think it was. And just to get like the word processor up to like type up a report or you have somebody on a whatever, stationary bike. It took like three floppy disks. Floppies to fucking juice it up. That was when those little hard johns came out. Everybody else had them. The those, hard johns. Those little hard discs, remember? The ones the three for and Apple. Half, what were they, three and a half or something they were called? Yeah, they just had a little piece of metal would slide over. It looked like something from, like, Strange Days or something. I'm not sure I know what you're... Yeah, that's a floppy disk. No, floppy's a floppy. Those were hard disks. Oh, the hard disks. Yeah, see? Look at that. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the metal thing? Oh, I thought, yeah. Dude, I thought I was in fucking... That's Mission what I'm Impossible saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be like, look, I'll open it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking badass, dude. Fuck out of here, dude. Oh, that's so funny. Ryan's gone rogue. <laughs> <laughs> He's exposed the disc to air. He took Oregon Trail outside the library. <laughs> He's a madman. That number muncher. Shout out to number muncher. <laughs> that was an old one. More of a butt muncher, man. Myself. <laughs> sorry, what are you doing in your own time? Is your business, sir. <laughs> this is a fucking family program, okay? <sighs> this one, I mean, some are just home runs. This is from Pete Cahoe. Uh, PD. Ever, ever buy shampoo by the gallon? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I asked him. But when we had Kim on, I know why. How big was the detergent you get? Because I feel like the bigger you get of something, the trashier it is. Like my mom has like literally like a forty gallon drum of some off brand detergent downstairs. She knocks it out of the park. Don't get me wrong. Sure, I don't know how off brand detergent's it. a tough look. But what my mom? I don't know if they still make them. And I think my mom has moved at least down the shore. She's moved to pods specifically. But she's a Tide. She's a Tide broad through and through. Yeah. But she used to have the big jug of Tide. Like yeah, where you pour it. With on, the spout. On draft. Yeah. Yeah. She would have that. 100%. The, and we have a rack above the laundry thing, so it's just like a tap. Like, you don't have to move it. Of course. It yeah, they get the cu- sh- That cup gets so disgusting. Oh, uh, a little icky. You've got to have water under it. Broad's got to clean it up a little bit yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, keep it tight. Where the fuck did T-Bone go? Oh, the lights weren't on. Oh, you goober. Your job is the lights. No, yes. not over there on my it's, side. From now on, you're all lights. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, it's oh. official, huh? I hate bending over to do those ones over there. You could use the fucking ab workout. It's an old thing that those lights you, were That on. way you fit in the shower. We got to get them on the clapper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll we order, do. Remind me after this episode, I'll order the clapper and then. Beautiful. Um, what do you want to do? You want to start over? <laughs> hey, everybody out there. We just do it line for line. <laughs> Read not the teleprompter. <laughs> All cross-eyed and shit. 
Yes, my dad had a bar downstairs. Um, what do you right. got? This one's from Kristen. Uh, have you ever used something not intended for you, loved it, and now use it in shame? My husband used our eight-year-old's toothpaste when we ran out, and now he'll only use bubblegum-flavored kids' toothpaste. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's... It 100%. doesn't have the same fucking grit, though. No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't. No, it doesn't do it. It's but, made for teeth that are going to fall out on their own. I know, yeah. It's just loosening <laughs> them up for you. Yeah, I think it is sugar just to loosen up <laughs> yeah. the baby teeth. <laughs> Get it up in the root. Um, I mean, every single one of my girlfriend's beauty products, as far as like her... It ain't working. <laughs> It is, though. My skin is fantastic. She's got the... Um, you were just talking about all the stuff you have on you. What, what's, well, my exfoliation and this stuff is cleaning it off. That's what I well, said. Well, maybe that stuff's putting it on there. <laughs> no, Who knows? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, my dad, back in Forget the day, it. He used to use... Uh, I used to use my dad's deodorant no, just straight up. But my dad used... To, I remember my dad used to use the Johnson & Johnson No Tear Shampoo. Really? Way back in the day. Tough guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think his hair was like, he used to have a perm, too. My dad used to go get perms. That's awesome. And he used to have perms and a big fucking eight. I want one. I've been, I've been, I tried to do a little one in the what quarantine. It? it just curls it? Curls it up. T-Bone should get one. Tightens it wouldn't up. Be able to, wouldn't, be, wouldn't be able to fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be up against the window. Fucking Jackie Moon over here. <laughs> the moon shot. <laughs> Playing it oh, fast and loose. You are. I think Toby's on a little something you, homegrown. You're Jackie Moon, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you play for the Tropics. <laughs> <laughs> you're the owner-operator of the Tropics. <laughs> we're going tra- to trade Foley for a fucking washing machine. Ah, man. I don't care who you are. <laughs> you <don't laughs> the like moon that. shot. That moon shot. Movies fantastic. Corn dogs, Jackie. <laughs> Corn dogs for everyone. <laughs> Man, that was one of those movies where it was before I had cable in one of my college apartments for like a month. We kept putting it off. So I just had to watch that on repeat and like go to bed with that on. Ooh. Oh, it's a home run. You'd wake up, the fucking DVD extras would be playing at like 10,000. Oh, I hate that. Sell the menu. Oh, dude. I hate the TV playing when you go to sleep. That's trash. When you wake up and the fucking TV's on. I need it sometimes. You do? Well, we no, not now anymore. Got to like, get away from hotel. That. Yeah, I, I don't want someone coming to get what me. What are you in a nuts? Hotel. The hotel TV is always on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? I turn the a iron hotel, on. Hotel when I go to my mom's and I if I stay on the couch at my mom's, I'll fucking TV it for sure. Why? Because you're scared. It's a little. <laughs> it's a little quiet out there in Bucks County. Yeah, man, I go back. I don't want fucking Freddy coming to get me if Rever's out there. I don't like sleeping in front of a sliding glass door. I can tell you that. Well, much. I heard that whole that whole room is all <laughs> is all glass doors. It's like you're in a fucking death box, dude. It's like you're in an aquarium for serial killers. <laughs> I'll take the boat. Yeah, one. there's just a, there's six of them. It's my turn tonight, boys. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a tough look. If I ever looked out and saw fucking somebody standing there, I would fucking shit my pants. Oh, uh, and I start thinking, I'm like, well, th- it's always so scary when they can see you and you can't see them. If you're inside and the lights are on, you're a sitting fucking duck. You're better off cutting off all the lights and hanging out in the dark. <laughs> Just talking about this. Yesterday. Were we? Yesterday. <laughs> oh, you were? I don't like it. Yesterday, I came into the studio. I unlocked the door. Lights are off, and Foley's just sitting in the dark, <laughs> staring at the door, going, hello, Toby. <laughs> it was like two minutes before. But I told you, I remember when I was a kid, every once in a while, my old man would, when he'd be, if he was watching us, my mom was working, he'd kill all the lights in the house, turn the floodlights on, and we'd like sit on patrol, like fucking in a little foxhole, right in front of the bay window. <laughs> Way to play it cool, Pops. <laughs> Shout out to the big man. <laughs> Go doing overtime. Keeping us safe, baby. But no, that's when he told me about the when when there's when it's dark inside and it's when you have light shining, you can't see in. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I don't like it. Well, yeah. the other one I like when the lights are off and you see out. Nice little sniper <laughs> spot. Check the wire. <laughs> Make sure no one's coming through. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <everybody. laughs> Flipping off cheers for that. Oh, no I got way. half a jello pudding pop in my <laughs> in my stomach. Hey Bozo, can we play war later? I'm trying to finish my ice pop here. He telling me we're about to get overrun. What's it do? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough ammo to fight these people anyway. Let's wrap this up before growing pain starts. <laughs> oh, it was great. Ooh, Good stuff. Uh, we did the dogs with one breed. That's uh, trash. Um, I mean, not trash. 
I think we might have touched on this before. This from Casey. Uh, bringing your own koozies to a party. Clean living or trash? Dude. Trash. Come on. Trash. 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 Using on my feet is trash. I feel like bringing, bringing your own anything that's just for you to a party is garbage. Yes, that's a trash move. Yes. Whether yeah, it's yeah. booze or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're going to a party, don't bring like just like a cell. Oh, I got a little bit of my cell. You're like, my own. And like drinking your own thing. It's just, it sets a weird tone. Okay. But- you're a guest. The koozie. Now you know exactly which beer is yours. Yeah, the one in your hand. Is it, is it is it really that big of a mystery and that big of a thing? I like to know exactly which one's mine. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, I, I I never understood it. We were never a family of it. There was always like one or two normal people. Around. Okay, but there were like radio giveaways or something. Normal people don't do it. If somebody does it, I guarantee you, they're the weird one or something. There's something screwy feel, about that. I feel like there's a positive correlation between people that use beer koozies and wear Oakley sunglasses. Bingo. Right? Yeah. I probably got like a lip packed in or something. <laughs> Oakley sunglasses on top of their baseball hat. Okay. Yeah. In what environment is koozie appropriate? I think a boat, koozie's fire. If boat, they have them, you don't bring yeah. your own. Koozies on a boat are okay. Koozies, I think it like maybe... All right, this is when I Who would... the fuck's taking that long to fucking drink a beer anyway? Sure. I don't know. Three minutes. Well, sure. Especially the first two. You got to get two in. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to get, get up to speed. You got to get across the river yeah. real quick. Uh, I would say also if you were like going somewhere where you shouldn't be drinking. As in like, a, hey, I'm not flaunting this a little bit. Like if you have the bottle koozie because you're like walking... Walking your dog or something at night, and you're like, I don't want to just be the fucking guy who looks like I'm drinking I like in that. public. It's a little, it's a little more subtle. That I'm fine with, but like, I, don't, I what do we? Yeah, I don't. A lot of people are gonna be upset about this. Yeah, Kippy's out here putting the silencer on the barrel. <laughs> also, <laughs> walking around. Yeah, exactly. Also, I tried to sell them one time. I got them made. Remember that? I got oh, like, I, I got like a hundred beer koozies made. Like I was gonna sell them on the road. I think I got 98 still left in my apartment. You had a couple of harebrained schemes before this took off. <laughs> hey, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Kids are fucking cloudy with a chance of meatballs over here, huh? <laughs> I never saw that. Nothing? Film. I don't know. I don't know it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn you, Kippy. <laughs> Damn you, bad movie reverend. Yeah, I was a T bone. That was a T-bone. Uh, bad movie reference. That's what we're calling T-bones from here on this out. This guy's quoting Lawrence of Arabia over here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever seen Hackers? I have. Of, with Gene Hackman? No. Oh. No, with Seth Green, I think, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think you're thinking of Can't Hardly Wait. No. Was Hackers with Ryan Phillippe and Tim Robbins? No. It, I'm Angel- thinking of Sneakers with River Phoenix and Robert Redford. Angelina yes. Jolie. You see your tits. PG-13. Ooh, I'm listening. She had a nice little dairy air on her. Matthew, too. it's a Matthew Lillard joint. Yes, 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 yes. I do know that one. Who's Matthew cool. Lillard? Oh, I know the exactly. He's been in everything. In know the exactly. You're 2000s. talking about. Yeah, Love yeah, him. Yeah, He's yeah. in uh, Bad Girls or Good Girls on NBC. It's great. I'll watch either one of them. It's great. They're all great. Great show. Mm. All right, let's see here. Interesting. A couple of more, and then we got to wrap her. Up. I love this. We've touched on this before, but uh, it's from Kyle. Have you ever bought new clothes because you didn't want to do laundry, shirts, underwear, socks, etc.? <laughs> yeah. It's how I ruined my credit at Macy's for sure. For sure, that was a big one. Uh, this one's from Matt. Have you ever put coins on a train track to make homemade pressed pennies? <laughs> I've played on train tracks. Yeah. Not heavily trafficked ones. For some reason, we knew better. I think all the ones by us were done at that point it was a you you when you the first time you play on train tracks you notice it and you know okay i've crossed the line no matter how old you are you realize you're fucking garbage yes because you know you shouldn't be there you know joe dirt easily somebody could get killed yeah all right Someone's foot gets caught in the fucking something but it was exhilarating oh yeah you're playing with fucking oh yeah you're dancing of, with the devil. A, like, a, like a mixed group, like a couple of dudes, a couple of girls, you know what I mean? Like an older brother, younger brother. It was like, it was like, it was like a movie. You know what I mean? When you were out like exploring. Stand by me. Want to see a yeah. dead body? Oh, yeah. You guys ever see the video of the Russian kids who lay down and have the train go over them? Ooh. 
<laughs> no, those Russians, they play by their own rules, Make man. Make your fucking hands sweat. Are Watch you garbage or are you Russian? That should be in the next installment. The I'm not doing anything that's going to fuck up dinner that night. I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, did you guys ever hear that Like, if you did that, if you put the coins on the on the tracks, that it would derail the train? That was. <laughs> I think that was by like the Reading train company came Which up you, with that. Yeah, probably don't want you around, but maybe it could. I never wanted to do anything with that either. Derail on a train. That's got to be a felony. <laughs> it ain't a misdemeanor. Right? <laughs> I didn't fuck with that shit. Yeah, it was the least intent. Yeah. Uh, no way. I wasn't going near that. Yeah, we never really fucked with him. My dad My dad said he, like, they grew up. They would drive on the train and then jump off the bridge into the water, like in Roxborough. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, he hooked me the one time. He always what? told us stories. Not doing it, but he told us stories. He's like, and then we were like, where was the bridge? And we were, like, in his old neighborhood. or Like, we were, like, visiting my grandmom or something. And we stopped, and we got out, and we walked. I don't think it was running at that point anymore, but we walked down, like, the Trussell Bridge or Crazy. Whatever. And I was like, dude, I made it like, it was, it was, we had to, like, step over the. You walked over the, tra- over something like you could have fallen? Yeah. Fuck and out I, of Dude, here. I made it, like, six steps. I'm like, whoop, all right, I've seen enough. <laughs> yeah. I believe it. Let's go. No way. <laughs> Not doing think it. Think Chick Fil A still open? Let's get out of here. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck that. Chicken fries that shit's fucking bananas. Yeah, wasn't doing that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Tell you that right now. Didn't like any of that shit. Um. All right. Let's see. This is from Chelsea. Have you ever uh, this? I'm deferring to you. This is more your wheelhouse. Hmm. Uh, Politics, economics, <laughs> <laughs> poetry. <laughs> what could it be? Um. <sighs> This is from Chelsea. If it's T.S. Eliot, I'm going to be embarrassed. <laughs> Have you ever had a peanut butter and maple syrup sandwich? Yes, I believe I have. Really? Yeah. Like just like like Aunt Jemima's on it? Just to sweeten it up? Is that what it does? Man, I think I got to be honest with you. I don't think this was that long ago. I mean, no one's shocked. You know what I think it was? I had peanut butter, like maybe like a th- quarter left peanut butter in a jar. And I put some syrup in there and was eating that, like a peanut. Wait, hold on. I zoom. I zoned out for a second. <laughs> Say that again. I think I had a jar of peanut butter, and it was like a quarter way filled, so it was like you know, a nice little crevice in it. And I put syrup in there and was eating it like that. Like instead of just eating peanut butter with a spoon, I was eating peanut butter and maple syrup. You somehow made it fatter. Yes, like a bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> Foley trap. You look at his head's in the bottle. <laughs> Yeah. Jeez. What about a what about a peanut butter and honey sandwich? I was literally just gonna say that. Fucking right up there with the peanut butter and jelly. No fucking doubt about it. One of my boys brought it every day. It was peanut butter and fucking honey on uh like Strowman's wheat bread. And by the time it got to lunch, it would like crystallize a little bit, so there was a little bit of a crunch in it. Fucking top shelf. What kind of bread were you top growing shelf. up? You just mentioned Strowman's. We were a Strowman's family. We were, we, and then my dad moved to the Italians, like Mart, Mart, Martinelli's or something. Martin, Martinelli's is the is no, the, it's not I Martin's mean. like potato roll. It was like another. It was like Italian. It was called like Italian loaf had an Italian flag on it. Well, do you think it's trashy if you get those Italian loaves of bread in the grocery store, the ones in the white bag? That's all class to me. <laughs> that's like as classy as you can get. Like it's a, always from the local bakery or something. That's as class to me, <laughs> dude. If you're buying individually wrapped bread, fresh bread like that, to me. You never use that for sandwiches, though. It's always for when you have spaghetti. You chop Dip them up. in or something. Yeah, 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 of course. Slab of butter yeah, on there. Yeah, it's like a baguette. We were 100% white bread, whether it was store brand, wonder sometimes. Store bread white straight, Store brand white straight bread? Straight down the fucking middle until we got older. Probably maybe like, you know, high school. Then my parents started messing around with wheat or, you know, like seven grain or this or that or the other thing. But- Never in the Foley house. You know how like, you didn't have beans? Never would we have a fucking sandwich that had, that that was wheat bread or anything. No rye? Oh, yeah, rye on Saturdays. Like, rye was a special thing. If they would go and, like, if my mom or dad would go to, like, the the good deli, you know what I mean? Instead Ours of get, was Perrant's, yeah. We go to instead Perrant's of getting though. the lunch meat at the grocery store, yeah. when they made one of those runs on Saturdays, remember when lunch on Saturdays just all of a sudden was a home run? There was like a fresh fucking jar of pickles. There was fucking fresh bread, fresh stuff. It's fantastic. Know. Came from a broken home, I can tell you. <laughs> Saturdays were the days I was waiting for my dad to pick me up. Late. 
<laughs> You're sitting on a curb somewhere. I'm at home with two sandwiches, yeah. man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Getting hugs and kisses. Oh, from yeah. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's when the rye bread would come in. And Sunday mornings was a big... My dad. Whenever my dad was running, running the show, rye bread was on the menu. Always toasted. We all, yeah, toasted rye bread with butter. Good <laughs> night. Wow. That was something else. Oh, I was, man. My dad always had fresh rye. He always, Blow your hair My dad always back. made sure he had a thing of fresh rye, <laughs> high C's, fruit punch and orange in the like the, the boxes, <laughs> Wawa iced tea, goldfish as far as the eye can see. As far as the like, Shut this it, little Dude, it looks like up. a supermarket. Like, there would just be, like... A row of six of the cheddar, a row of six of the pretzel, two of the pizzas. <laughs> Shout out to the pizza. Goldfish, by the way. Damn, I forgot about them till just now. Oh, man. And Talk about the guy behind the guy. Those things are fantastic. Oh, yeah. Bullseye. They get the pizzas get you stuck in here, too. Oh, They're yeah. made out of something a little different. That's my favorite it's part. It's not of, just flavoring. My favorite part about cheese snacks is the part that gets stuck behind your molars. When you Guys, that's that it. Out. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, we got to wrap up anyway. Uh, really? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought there was a question in there. Were we talking about rye or something? What was the maple syrup sandwich? That was it? Yeah, all right. We can do one or two more. Yeah, let's do one more. Okay. I mean, all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. No, no, hey, no, no, no. stop no. it. I'm um, having fun. Did you do, 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 do? This is from Pootie Tang. I don't Ooh. know if it's the real Pootie Tang or not. Uh, Big did you, fan. Did you ever stand around the TV before the news and scream your guesses at the lottery ping pong balls with your siblings? And then in parentheses, we did. <laughs> I don't, I mean, uh, we were a big guessing family. We were like a gambler family, you know what I mean? If there, was, if there was action, we wanted in on it. We wanted to be right. That explains why anytime there's like a bit of a mystery on the show, your eyes light up and you're like, wait, everybody yeah. guess. Everybody guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll do the same thing. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were guests. We were, that's a real trash. That's a real a bunch yeah, of fucking yeah. dirt balls with. Wait, like, don't tell me. Where they have like fruit punch around their mouth, jumping around the TV. <laughs> a couple of bozos. Uh, One's wearing a diaper way too late. <laughs> <laughs> Six and still in the diaper. It's a tough look. Twelve year olds breastfeeding. Uh, we would always guess. I remember one time I think we went to like I think it was Bush Gardens. We went to Bush Gardens for the week and like Colonial Williamsburg Bush Gardens. And every time we went out to eat, we would guess, like, the change amount or something. Like, whatever the bill was. If the bill came to, like, $115.32. At, like, lunch or something? At lunch, dinner, and breakfast. It was, like, a re- and we like Just the change. I think. Something like that. I remember just, like, trying to guess two numbers. And I think it was the change of, like, guessing would what Would you get was. to keep that or something? I think, I don't know, it was like you won something. My dad my dad used to be real fucking greasy with the cash. Like, everybody was getting dubs. Oh, really? Oh, dude. He would have a wad of 20s on him, like fucking, like a baseball, dude. Just fucking everybody. <laughs> to the point where they wouldn't even, like, meet. You know what I mean? Like, they were like, it didn't fold in half. It folded in, like, a quarter, you know? Uh, you must have felt like big fucking big man on campus. Oh, yeah. Little fat fucking dude, blonde A lot of kid. the mornings, it was 20 to go to lunch. And the lunch was like three fifty for a fucking elementary school kid. So I was pocketing fucking sixteen fifty a day. I was about to buy a motorcycle or something. I was saving up for a Ducati. Getting paid to go to school. Yeah, it was great, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Loving. And there was one time he's like, "Well, I'm like, yo, do you have money or whatever?" And he's like, "What happened to the change from yesterday?" I'm like, "Change from yesterday? <laughs> That's in my IRA, you jerk off. Make good with the cake." I'm sorry. Is it yesterday? <laughs> Am I crazy? Yeah. Um, no, we would guess. As the numbers were going to be real annoying, like when my like mom sitting there like trying to get the number, trying to get the pick four. Your mom played. She she dabbled a little bit. My brother dabbled a little bit in the pick four. They were big big pick four, pick five people. She never got greedy. She'll go for a big one when it's a big pot. You know what I mean? It's forty two million yeah. this week. I remember my stepdad before they were like just state by state. Now they're kind of like everywhere a little it's bit. Weird, yeah. My stepdad would be like, "I'm going to Jersey. Who needs tickets?" Like when it was Jersey and PA were separate to like the Mega Millions. Good God! And we would drive to Jersey to buy lottery tickets. Yeah. Good God! For the big jackpot. Somebody was in there in my bodega playing that. Whatever it's called, the thing that's on the television there, it's done by the lottery company. Like Kino or whatever. Whatever. When you're doing it, ain't classy. You're playing that in there, that's a tough look. And they go over to like the side of the guy. Like all he 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 he's he's part cashier, part fucking casino dealer. Sure. You know what I mean? So they're doing business side. I swear to God, I hear this lady go, let it ride. Let it ride. You're standing next to fucking Yeah. 
I'm standing next to a payphone, lady. You're not letting shit ride. Standing next to pork rinds, lady. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let her ride. Let her ride. <laughs> It's a tough look. Ah, uh, gang, this has been a family app. Ooh, we love you. Fun one, baby. Get some ticks. Come see the show. Do us a solid. Go over to iTunes. Leave a little review. You know, something for the boys. Mm-hmm. We're making a sprint here. Top 100. Trying to get in the charts. Yeah, 106 as of today. But we'll see. 106 like, with a bullet. It changes every day. 106 <laughs> the hard way, too, baby. Unlike my underwear. <laughs> gang, listen. Shout out to Sheep. <laughs> we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.